this is my Lilia locomotive. I think the Welsh pronounce it slightly differently, but it's a Hunslet and it's 040, very similar to a Conway. Um, well, that's the main sort of comparison you would have in this gauge. It's about half an inch longer than a Conway and slightly more powerful and slightly a better loco. But I've only ever seen one other example of these um, built and that was on Station Road Steam. Now I actually bought this one from Station Road Steam last year and I'm quite pleased with it in a pretty much similar state to how it is now. Um, I've done some work to it. I've got the cross slide to work correctly now so they move freely and they're also set up right. I had to move the uh, motion brackets down about the 16th because the, in the plans it says that don't fit the motion brackets until you've finished the cylinders but the first builder obviously felt that he wanted to get it done so you just fit them anyway and they needed to be slightly further down and unfortunately that took me quite a long time of cutting out, drilling out the rivets to then redo them. And that's the first time I'd ever done any riveting and it was a bit interesting doing it on your locomotive to start off with you know. Um, now I did them cold and tapping them over with a hammer and I got a nice cup shape with a uh, with a punch which had the head the head drill uh, uh, shaped so it would give the cup shape to it. I've got the boiler for it and hopefully I'll get that pressure tested, hydraulic tested so uh, in art this year if I ever remember and most of it's come along nicely really got little jobs to do on it uh, and there's quite a long list of jobs to do on it really but I don't like to think too far ahead I'm just trying to get it to a running chassis at the moment that's a nice little target to aim for and I'm not too far off it at the moment um, I've got the valve chests to sort out which aren't, which aren't really done too much work on yet but I've got the expansion links now which I got laser cut with modern engineer laser I'm very pleased with and they're I just only had to file them down slightly, which are a lot easier than making them yourself because expansion links are quite a, a um, def uh, quite a close, important angle to them. They're shaped in a curve, and you need to get that curve very nice and, and clean when you make to make sure that the valve tongue then works correctly off them. If you've got them slightly out of place or too much movement in them they then cause a problem and I've got a practice one here and you see what I mean this is where your valve timing is and this is a Stevenson's valve timer uh, valve system I think or well, it's very similar to a Stevenson and the piece moves up and down and this is connected to to Entrix so it moves like that so when it's the connection is here and it's moving like that it's in forwards that could be reverse and when it's connected here it moves in reverse or the opposite direction so they're quite important things this one I got quite close but they I probably could have made them myself but I just lost so all hope with them after a while and so I sod it I'll just get them bought I'm very pleased with them actually the ones that I've now got fitted but still a long list of things to do and hopefully I'll get that done by sort of next year I'm hoping to get it so maybe steamed but no promises I definitely want to try and get a run chassis this year oh I should point out what I've got it on is a uh, machining is a engineer's table it's about an inch thick tabletop of, uh, of cast steel uh, and I had problems with the legs of this because one of them cracked. So me and my uncle, we welded them up um, by holding two uh, propane torches, heating up the bit of cast hot enough so that when we went then welded it, quickly removing the uh, torches, welded it with the heat still in it, then put them back on and go nice and hot. And it seems to have held pretty well. Um, and we did that with a, oh, I can't remember, I think it's a MIG welder. Um, and it was quite awkward doing the cast, but we did do it.